Your boy had one extra day in LA. Well, Anaheim. But let's see what I did with it. This vlog starts now. Let's roll that intro. Tommy loves stuff where he talks about the things that he loves. What's going on? It's your boy back at you again with another video. Today, we're gonna to do a special little travel vlog. Now, if you haven't watched the previous video I put out, I'm gonna leave a description down below, a link to it. And that talked about how we went for my birthday weekend, my wife and I to Disneyland with our family and all the stuff that happened there. Now, I definitely suggest you check out that video. And if you're watching this one, I had one extra day before we left to go around Anaheim, LA, you know, and do whatever I wanted. My wife, she had to work, unfortunately, so she was stuck at the hotel looking at videos, training. She had just got a new job. Shout out to her. And anyway, so I decided to start the morning off at a bakery I had been to before called Porto's. Now, Porto's Bakery I had been to in Burbank a couple months prior, maybe about in the end of summer, and it is incredible if you haven't been there like, the food is good the pastries are good i ended up getting like these little like potato balls that had like meat in them and stuff it was incredible this bakery the one in An around anaheim was like super you know big and stuff like the other one was like a small little place or whatever it was i mean it wasn't tiny but you know it's definitely not the size of this which seemed like a warehouse it was amazing huge line which is what i expected but you know what? The food was well worth the wait. The prices are great. If you haven't been to Porto's Bakery you, and you're in the Los Angeles area, I don't know how many locations they have, but it's quite a few. You definitely need to check it out. The food was fantastic, y'all. All right, y'all. Your boy was on a mission. Because the day after my birthday on the 19th of November is the re-release of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. Now, my wife is the Pokemon trainer du jour of the house. She's the expert. You know, she's been playing Pokemon since she was a little kid. I'm fairly new to it. I was a little bit too old for when the cartoon came out, but I started getting into it later, and her enthusiasm was infectious. So I knew I was picking us up a copy of each. And, and the pickups I did, you know, for this whole vlog, I'll do at the end of the video. But yeah, so let's take a look at my video. You know, I went to the outlets at Orange, uh, to go check it out. It was the first time I had been there. Let's check out that video. Out here at the outlets at Orange in uh, Anaheim. First time here on the hunt for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl for me and the wifey. So let's see if I get it here. Now, the outlets were pretty cool. I had, Like I said, I had never been there. And uh, there was a bunch of different shops, like box lunch and stuff I've never been into. I walked all around, went into shops, and then um, outside they kind of had like a little bunch of booths and stuff where people were selling different anime stuff, like char characters, stickers, you know, plushies. But I'll say this, you know, having worked retail a long time, like they acted like they didn't want my business. When I walked up and looked, the people were like this, like looking at their phones. What do you want? That kind of look, like, okay, I guess you don't want my business, even though I'm the only person here, <laughs> whatever. But anyway, I ended up getting Pokemon Pearl and Diamond, and you can see my reaction right here. Yes. Went to GameStop. Thankfully, they had a few copies left. And your boy and hyphy wifey about to get the Pokemon on a little bit. Excited. So, Pokemon hunt done. Pearl and, Sil and Diamond successfully captured. Caught them all. <laughs> It's still early, so I thought, why not check out some comic book stores, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love going to different comic book stores, and that's exactly what I did. So I hit, you know, the old Google machine and uh, found a place called Torpedo Comics in Anaheim. And I drove down there. First of all, it took me like 45 minutes to find parking. And then just when I was giving up, I saw a sign for a giant-ass parking lot that was free. And so I went there, and it was like me... And like one other car. So I looked at my car like, oh, be here when I get back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't want nobody stealing my car. And so I went there to Torpedo Comics. It was in this area that was kind of blocked off. The street was closed. And, um, you know, you, there was tables and stuff in the middle of the street. It looked like kind of a hipster area because it looked like it used to be like an old maybe jewelry or antiques district. And what ended up happening was they took that and like they hollowed out this bank and made into a restaurant, but they kept like the vault doors. I don't know. You know, it just looked really fancy. And walking into Torpedo Comics, I was actually looking for graphic novels. Now, as you can see here, it was really cool in there. It was kind of small. 
And their graphic novel section was not very big. They did have a lot of single issues, which was cool, but I'm not really the biggest single issue collector. It gets really expensive to do it that way, at least to me. But uh, yeah, so I didn't buy anything there. I was a little disappointed, but I walked back to the car. I decided, you know what? I'm gonna check out another place. And that's exactly what I did. I ended up Googling a place called Comics, Tunes, and Toys. And it was like in a strip mall. It was about 15 minutes away, or so I thought. But, you know, there was an accident on the freeway, LA traffic being what it is, I guess. And, you know, it ended up taking me like maybe 25, 30 minutes to get there. But when I got there, this was my kind of place, y'all. It had wall-to-wall -wall graphic novels, you had toys, you had like, you know, single issue. It was awesome. Like, it was packed to the rafters with cool stuff. As you can see here, they had a whole bunch of figures and a whole bunch of graphic novels and stuff. I, I did pick up some things there, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But yeah, I, the, day, the day after uh, we were leaving, you know, the next day, they are actually having a signing by Ray Park, a.k.a. Darth Maul, which would have been cool to see. But, you know, I didn't want to hold up our trip home. Cool place. And you know what? Let's get to them pickups. All right, y'all. So here's the stuff I picked up on my extra day in L.A. First off, like I did mention, I did get Pokemon Shining Pearl for the Switch. My wife got Diamond. And she's way far advanced in the game than I am. You know, I'm taking my time and stuff like that. And um, I've been playing a few other games. But yeah, this is definitely fun. I never played the old school version. But uh, like I said, I'm a new Pokemon trainer. My wife says she likes it. And, you know, that's awesome. So I've been having a lot of fun with this one. At Comics, Tunes, and Toys, which I definitely go back to again if I'm in the Disneyland area, I love being places where I can check out the local comic book shops. Y'all know this, the, your boy a big comic book fan. But I did get Paper Girls, The Complete Story. Um, I had read maybe the first trade of Paper Girls and really dug it. I remember buying like the first and second issue and stuff. But like I said, I'm, I couldn't keep up with single issues. So now that they put this whole thing out in one complete epic, I can't wait to read it, you know awesome story is Brian K. Vaughn. So, you know, I really dig Saga and um, Why the Last Man, all the other stuff he's written. So definitely looking forward to tearing into this one soon. Got some Transformers comics, but the UK Transformers comics. I don't know if y'all know. Uh, I mean, I was kind of aware and stuff like that, that Transformers had a long, long run in the UK. And I got, uh, this one's called Fallen Angel. And this one is called City of Fear. Now, you have Transformers with uh, zombie Transformers and time travel. Zombies, tra time travel, I'm all in. You know what I'm saying? This is a no-brainer. I've never seen these before. They look super cool, and I cannot wait to read them, y'all. Love me some Transformers ever since I was like five years old. Now, these graphic novels, I didn't buy in L.A., but I did order them in L.A. You know what I'm saying? Like... I read a few issues a couple months back, like maybe a month or two back, of Christopher Priest's run on Black Panther from the late 90s. And I was like three issues in when I was like, I gotta get these in collected, you know, physical graphic novel form or whatever. So that's exactly what I did. So shout out to CheapGraphicNovels.com. I'm not sponsored by them yet. Hopefully one day, you never know. But <laughs> but uh, yeah, shout out to CheapGraphicNovels.com for hooking me up with volumes one and two at a really cool price. And then uh, thanks to Half Price Books, uh, like I ordered in LA, um, I got volume three, which was pretty hard to get. I got lucky and just happened to go on there and they had a copy. And I also picked up volume four. And these were a steal, y'all, compared to what they're going on eBay. Like... Sometimes I see them on eBay, like volume three is like 80, 90 bucks. And I got it for way, way less than that, you know, but I'm definitely looking forward to reading the whole run. Christopher Priest, a great writer, you know, uh, the whole milestone comics and stuff like that. I, I dug when I was a kid, I used to read that back in the day, like hardware and, you know, static and all that. So definitely looking forward to this run. I've read, like, like I said, maybe the first five or six issues and those were fantastic. So I'm really, really looking forward to this run, y'all. That was my extra day in LA. You know, unfortunately, my wife had to work at the hotel, but I did get to go around and, you know, I picked up some. I didn't pick up too much at Disneyland, from you see from the last vlog, but like I got to get some dope comics, got some video games, got to check out the outlets and stuff. We ate some great food during our whole trip. You know, um, the Portos was incredible. Like I said, definitely go pick that up if you can. And it was a fun time. Like, I'm not usually when I go down to Southern California, it's usually like a theme park kind of trip. But it was cool to go other places and explore. 
If you like what you see or are mildly entertained, please like and subscribe down here. Hit that bell notification in the corner somewhere. I don't know exactly where it's at. And do your boy a solid. Help spread the word about the Tommy Love Stuff channel. YouTube's best kept secret. Got a lot of great stuff on this channel. We have more comic book reviews in Tommy Reads X-Men, in which I do exactly that. If you like food reviews, check out the ChubCon playlist. And like I said, a lot of great stuff on the channel. Something for everybody. So please check us out if it's your first time watching. Thank you for letting me entertain you. If it's your millionth time watching, then I appreciate you just as much. I'll see you later. Back with more comics. I feel like me without my glasses, like when the few times they showed the Ninja Turtles without their headbands, like it just didn't look right. Anyway, glasses clean. I don't think I'm gonna get copyright strike, but homie here playing Mambo number five.